Today I'm going to show you how to install a free evidence script created by this person. It supports multiple inventories in both QB and high devs police job. It also introduces some pretty cool features in addition to the default ones, such as bullet holes and vehicle fragments as evidence, being able to check for evidence with the camera, and the ability to see the draw line of shooter positions using the laser pointer. On the other side of things, criminals are able to remove evidence, which is a great balancing feature. If you want the full list of features, be sure to look at the README. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Before we get started, I'll mention a couple of things. Oxlip is a dependency, so make sure you have it installed and insured properly. There's an example of the insure order below. I'm also installing this using QB Police Job and QB Inventory. So go to the releases, download this version here. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag over what you downloaded and remove the numbers from the end. Then go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. Hit file and save. Next we'll be adding the images to so go back to the resource and into the images folder. Copy these and go to the inventory you use and paste them with the other images. Next we need to add the items so go back to the readme and copy this block of code here. Then go back to the QB folder, go into QB core, shared, and then items. Once you're in there, scroll all the way down. And paste what you copied. Then hit file and save. Next, we need to make the edits to the inventory. So go back to the readme. Copy this block of code here. Then go to the inventory you use. Again, I'm using QB inventory, HTML, JS, and open the app.js. And we're looking for line 365. Right here. So we'll highlight this. And replace it with what we copied. Then hit file and save. Next, we'll need to replace the police job folders. So go back to your resources in the QB folder and find QB police job. Open the client section and put it off to the side. Right click and open another file explorer and find where your resources are. Once you're there, find the resource. And open the QB Police Job Replace These folder. Drag the evidence.lua into the client and replace the file. Then in QB Police Job, go into the server folder and drag the main.lua over and replace the file again. Next, go back to QB Police Job and open the config. And remove this section of code here. While you're in here, you can add the evidence cleaning kit and laser pointer to the armory. So scroll down to the config.items, copy the last one, and paste it twice. Then rename it to evidence cleaning kit. and police pointer. Then hit file and save. Next, we'll look at some of the options in the config of the evidence script. The first option in here is showing the line from where a shooter fired their weapon. That's followed by the option to have police create draw lines when they shoot as well. Then there's the option to enable or disable the commands you can type to clear the evidence. The list of commands are in the readme. After that are the notify police job and inventory options. What's supported is commented out, change it if you need to. Then there's the time evidence is visible, by default it's 45 minutes. Then you have the ammo labels and the colors of the markers for evidence. 
The last thing in here commented out are events you can use to make player shop fingerprints and blood. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save. Then you can start your server and test it out. I'm in the server now. The first thing I'm going to do is set my job as police and get the items from the armory. Go grab a flashlight, a camera, a cleaning kit, the laser pointer, and some evidence bags. And they'll come over here and shoot. Then I'm going to change my job to something else. And shoot again. And change my job back. Now if you pull out the flashlight, you can see the casings on the ground. You can also see the bullet holes in the wall. So go ahead and use the laser pointer. And as you can see, when I had the police job and I shot, the lines are green. And when I changed my job, the lines are red. Now if you pull out the camera, you can also see the evidence around, so the casings and the bullet holes. And you can take a picture, which you'll receive, which shows that as well. Now, I've given myself a rag. I still have the police job, so I'm going to change it back. And as you can see, the laser pointer is gone. So go over to where the bullet holes are. And use the rag. And we're removing the evidence. So I go ahead and switch back. And take out the flashlight. And as you can see, it's all cleaned up. Next, I'll go ahead and spawn a vehicle. And take out a gun. And then if you go and look at it, you'll see the vehicle fragment evidence, as well as some casings, which you can pick up with F if you have the empty evidence bags. The last thing I'll show in this brief overview are the commands. So as you can see, there are a lot of vehicle fragments. If you have the commands enabled, you can type clear fragments. And it'll let you know they're being removed. And they're gone. Same works for casings. All the commands will work like that. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed it and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.